Hello and welcome to A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. I am Tori, your host. Please take a moment to share this podcast with a friend and let others know they can find A Daily Purpose on all major podcasting platforms and on YouTube. If you have your Bibles, let us open today's session with a portion of the assigned reading. Turn with me to the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, and let's read verses 1 through 27. Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 27. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man called Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector, a superintendent to whom others reported, and he was rich. Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was, but he could not see because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran on ahead of the crowd and climbed up a sycamore tree in order to see him, for he was about to pass through that way. When Jesus reached the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So Zacchaeus hurried and came down and welcomed Jesus with joy. When the people saw it, they all began muttering in discontent. He has gone to be the guest of a man who is a notorious sinner. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, See, Lord, I am now giving half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I will give back four times as much. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this household because he too is a spiritual son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. While they were listening to these things, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they assumed that the kingdom of God was going to appear immediately as soon as he reached the city. So he said to them, A noble man went to a distant country to obtain for himself a kingdom and then to return. So he called ten of his servants and gave them ten minas, one apiece, each equal to about a hundred days' wages. And he said to them, Do business with this until I return. But his citizens, the residents of his new kingdom, hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to be king over us. When he returned after receiving the kingdom, he ordered that these servants to whom he had given the money be called to him, that he might find out what business they had done. The first one came before him and said, Lord, your mena has made ten minas more. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you proved yourself faithful and trustworthy in a very little thing. You shall now have authority over ten cities in my kingdom. The second one came and said, Lord, your mena has made five minas more. And he said to him also, And you shall take charge over five cities. Then another came and said, Lord, here is your mena, which I have kept laid up in a handkerchief for safekeeping. I was always afraid of you, because you are a stern man. You pick up what you did not lay down, and you reap what you did not sow. He said to the servant, I will judge and condemn you by your own words, you worthless servant. Did you really know that I was a stern man, picking up what I did not lay down and reaping what I did not sow? Then why did you not, at the very least, put my money in a bank? Then on return, I would have collected it with interest. Then he said to the bystanders, Take the mena away from him and give it to the one who has the ten minas. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten minas already. Jesus explained, I tell you that to everyone who has, because he valued his gifts from God and has used them wisely, more will be given. But from the one who does not have, because he disregarded the gifts from God, even what he has will be taken away. The king ended by saying, But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and kill them in my presence. 
Lord, thank you for the reading of your word. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 27. Thank you.